Hey, how's it going today, you guys? We're going to be taking a look at unboxing the Gundam G Self Assault Pack, the high grade number 12 from the HD Reconquista and G series. Now, if you saw my video talking about the Space Jahannam or the video talking about the Elf Bullock, you know that my thoughts on the HDRC line so far are not very good and I don't really like uh, basically anything that I've seen of them. I mean, the designs are okay. I have nothing against the designs. It's just that the kits just seem to be seriously lacking in some certain areas. So you might be wondering why I actually bought this kit. Well, it's just because I I want to like it and like um, there are some certain changes to the G-Self this time that I like, basically just in the legs. I mean, of course, the red color does look a little bit different, and that's nice. That's a little bit different than normal Gundam colors. The legs are a little bit longer, and the, of course, just the bottom of the legs in general are a little bit different, so I do like that about it. like the new legs, like the new color up top, still don't like the shape of the shoulder armor, Still don't like uh, the panel lines on the front of the thigh. I'm definitely going to wipe those out whenever I actually work on this kit totally. Uh, the head is okay. I mean, I can live with the with the antlers like that. It's, it's fine, but uh, there's just other things I don't really like about it. But basically, the best thing about this is obviously going to be the assault pack. So uh, I've actually even toyed with the thought of whenever I actually get around to building this thing up like for real, not just snapping it like I'm going to do for the review for you guys, but whenever I get around to actually building it up, uh, I've actually thought about the idea of putting the assault pack onto a different kit actually and then just like using the G-Self for something else. Uh, like putting the assault pack onto a Hazel kit or something like that, a different HG that uh, would look cool with a big backpack like that. So I don't know, I've thought about that. We'll just have to see, but for now we're just going to focus on this. So this is a 2015 release earlier this year. As I said, this is number 12 in the series of the HG Reconquista NG. Let's take around and look at the sides of the boxes now. Sides of the box, I guess I should say. There's only one. But here on the bottom, we've got the normal front view there with the uh, G-Self by itself there. I'm going to get really tired of saying G-Self itself, but uh, just no way to avoid that. A couple of gimmicks there about the assault pack. There's a look at the rear of the assault pack. There's a look at some action with the assault pack. Really disappointed that there was no beam effect parts. In a lot of the HG kits from this series, they've just been like beam effects galore. They just love the beam sabers for these kits, for the mobile suits, I guess. But nothing with this kit. I expected like some big beam saber parts, something like we got with like the meteor kits from the Seed series. Uh, but no, nothing, so I don't know, I guess you could make one, but oh well. Here's us showing some gimmicks of the uh, missile doors opening, uh, the movement of the missile pod on the side, the base, the new beam rifle, that's cool too, I do like that, and then how you can just display it just by itself. Here on the side, just the same kind of cover art that we saw up there, again this is number 12 in the series. And then on the top we've got the artwork. For that, so that's pretty cool. A couple of shots from the anime series there, and then a little bit of info about the pilot, Bellry. Uh, that's pretty cool. I quite like him. I, I'm still only like through the first five episodes of the series, and although it is pretty nuts, I do like it, and I really appreciate it just at least for nothing else other than just the art. The art is really, really good. Uh, much, much better than... Uh, the Build Fighters series, in my opinion, which is very, very generic anime style. At least this uh, series has some style in the, anim in the anime, so it does have that going for it, although this, the story is obviously makes no sense. Um, here it is 3,800 yen, so obviously it's going to be a little bit uh, more pricey, but as you can see, the box is very big. Even upside down, you can tell just how big the box is. It's basically the size of a Master Grade box. Um, not all that thick, but uh, still quite large, so a lot of plastic in there, so that's going to explain the price. So let's take it and open it up and let's see what we've got inside. Uh, here's our first bag. going to be a few runners in there, and there's all of our stickers for the G-Self. I think we're going to have two different sheets of stickers. Um, these are just for the G-Self, and then I think there's going to be another set just for the Assault Pack as well. Bag number two, a lot of our large gray parts there. Mm -hmm. Bag number three, some small gray parts. 
bag number four. Some dark red parts. Bag number five. Some smaller parts there, some white and some polycaps. Bag number six, some more large red parts. Bag number seven, some large dark red parts. Bag number eight, here we can see there are the uh, stickers for the assault pack. As you can see, the size is just about the same size uh, as the G-Self itself, uh, but yeah, so I don't know. There's the base, uh, pretty standard base, looks like it is the taller version. I think this is the same like uh, 1 100 scale base that we got with the Elf Bullock. So there's that. There's bag number, uh, what number am I on? Eight, nine, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bag number nine. This is bag number nine. Some yellow parts there. I like that it's kind of a duller yellow, kind of mustard yellow, not a really bright yellow. That's refreshing. Bag number ten. A few more of the large red parts there. And finally, bag number eleven. A couple more darker red parts there, and some of the clear blue parts for the G cell. Then here, as we've been seeing with most recent releases, we've got just a card about the revive kits, the Gundam, and the gun tank. And then here is our instruction manual. So let's take a look at this. The manual is actually quite thick, as you could imagine. There's quite a lot of stuff in here. So here's a look at the box art. Here's just a little bit there. Different from the normal HG manual uh, that we've been seeing recently, where it's like art on the top, then info on the bottom. Uh, since this is a much bigger kit, they have just gone for a little bit different style on that. It is actually stapled on the side, so it's actually a book, not a fold-out. On the back, we've just got the artwork there, a couple other kits in the series, the Mac Knife and the G Lucifer. Don't really care about those. And here's just some more looking at the kit itself, the backpack, the G Self just by itself. So here is basically just going to be your color guide. There's the colors down there on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six colors is all you need to paint this kit. Apparently, I think you could probably uh, do with adding a couple other colors just for some variety there. There's a couple images from the anime there for uh, just some more reference, I guess. If we open it up, why don't we open it up to the center page first. Here we've got a recreation of the scene with the G Arcane there cruising alongside the Assault Pack. Uh, assault Pack and G Self, I suppose. There's that, basically what we saw on the outside of the box. It's more about the... Uh, G Self Assault Pack, then some more about the world and about the character Bellary. So, uh, this might actually be useful information to decipher the story. And then Gundam Reconquista in G MS. So, here's a bunch of the different MSs. Not all of these are actually available in high grade form. Again, some really cool designs, definitely some really interesting designs. I would like to have these in uh, kits as long as the kits are actually of good quality. The Gastima does look like a pretty cool kit. I might consider getting that, but um, I don't know, we'll just have to see. As cool as it looks, I just really have very little faith in this line of kits at this point. But I don't know, maybe this kit could turn that around. I might actually get a little bit of my faith restored. Let's see, starting off with the parts list. So, uh, looks like probably these first few runners are going to be the runners of uh, just the G self so there's going to be quite a lot of X's on here probably for the new parts that are going to be replaced on the legs and of course the different color parts for the chest so yep so there's some X's there on the A runner uh, the B runner is a separated so I'm guessing those are the new color parts the C runner a couple X's there for the feet those are going to be the old feet apparently the D runner those looks like probably the yellow parts the E runner uh, six X's on there. I'm guessing those are for the feet as well. I think, yeah, those are the... I know the ankle parts, ankle joint parts on this kit are new, so... A couple of clear parts there on the F runner are going to be omitted as well. Then we're moving on to all the new parts for the assault pack. As you can see, some really huge parts there on runners K, L, and M. Then moving on to this side, on to runners N, O, P, Q, R, S, and then two runners of polycaps and two, uh, sorry, one base. Looks like it says we're not going to be using this long arm for the base. We've got a different arm for the base there, so kind of interesting. You'll have an extra base arm if you need it. You could use that, like glue it into the base, 
to have like two arms if you wanted to use the space for something where you're displaying two different things. And then here's our thing if you need to uh, reorder any runners or anything. If you live in Japan, if you don't, then you're out of luck. So going along, we're going to be starting with the G self. Looks like first, going with the head, then the body, then the waist, then the left arm, then the right arm, then the left leg, and as you might imagine, the right leg. Then what's next? Let's see. Then putting all of the body together. Then the weapons, which is basically just the uh, new beam rifle. There should be a shield in this as well, I think. It's kind of funny that they saved that till the end instead of just putting it here with the beam rifle, or I could be wrong, it could be no shield. Then uh, starting with the backpack. Now, it's kind of cool how they showed you which section of the backpack you're doing at which time. So here you're just building the middle section of the backpack. So we're doing that, skip over the center page. Uh, just building the middle of that. It's going to be mostly structural, I imagine. Um, not a whole lot of like detailed parts on there, probably. And then, going on to the rabbit ears on the top, which where I thought we were going to have some beam effect parts coming out of, but apparently not. So that's that. Then the cannon parts on the top. And then the arm cannons on the sides of the arms there. And then finally the missile pods, and he's actually doing the missile pods separately, so first the left and then the right missile pods on the side, then assembling it all together, then assembling the base, then uh, how to mount it on the base, whether you want to use this base or you want to use a regular um, action base, it you, looks like you are going to have an adapter for that as well. And I guess there's no shield because we're not seeing it anywhere on here. So, And then here's just a very, very short section here about how to uh, basically hold the different things on the kit. It's kind of odd that the, there's usually a little bit more of a section about how to mount the different weapons and different things like that. And you'd think with something that has as many different weapons and stuff going on as this one does, uh, there, this section would be a little bit more um, longer, but it's not apparently. So I know there's a lot of runners here, so why don't we start taking a look at those. Alright, starting us off with the foil stickers for the G-Self itself. Quite a lot of stickers here, not something you really like to see on a brand new kit, but uh, that is just the way of the HGRC line, so there's all the stickers for that. And then here we have the foil stickers for the Assault Pack as well, some pretty large black and gray ones there, and then looks like just a lot of blue and white uh, smaller details there on this side as well so quite a lot of foil stickers on this kit uh, I suppose I'll put them all on for the review or at least most of them but then of course these are basically coming right off as soon as that's done. For our polycaps we've got two different runners of polycaps PC200 and PC02 don't know if they did that on purpose they're kind of opposite numbers there that's kind of interesting but um, yeah quite a lot of polycaps we're going to be using for this apparently then starting off the parts runners with A1, looks like all white, and this is of course going to be all of the white armor parts for the G-Self. I'm already seeing some stuff in there that doesn't look very promising, but I'm kind of trying to hold my expectations until I actually get to building the kit. But uh, of course this runner is just from the original G-Self, so if you built that one, nothing new here and nothing new for the first few runners, so just sit back and enjoy the view. Runner B, very small and dark red, only one, two, three, four parts on here. I don't know if this was bigger for the original G self, if there was more parts on this. I believe uh, there probably was, I guess, right? Or I don't know. But uh, of course, these are going to be the parts that were in blue on the original kit. Now they are in this dark red color. And then runner C is in just a standard red color, just kind of normal red that you'd expect with any sort of Gundam kit, so there we've got parts for the feet that we're not going to be using, the shoulders, uh, the backpack, the chest, so it is going to be nice that the chest is going to be two-tone red, uh, same as the G-Self, so that is pretty good at least. Then runner D is that sort of uh, neutral, a little bit mustardy yellow kind of color, of course just going to be for the vents and accents on the G-Self. Then runner E is molded in gray and it's totally packed with uh, all of these parts here, going to be making up most of the joints. I don't remember that these uh, beam uh, sorry, I don't remember that this beam rifle was X'd out in the manual, so I guess this is the new beam rifle. So I suppose that means that this part of the runner was uh, omitted in the original G-Self because this runner is marked G-Self, nothing about the assault pack. So I'm guessing that this part is all reused and just this corner here of it is new. And the last of the G-Self runners, this is the clear blue F runner. 
These parts do look pretty nice. I'm not sure how they actually look on the kit from what I've seen of different builds of the kit so far. Uh, they can look good sometimes and other times they can look um, just kind of a little bit lackluster. So we'll just have to see. They do look nice as is though. They look basically the same kind of clear blue that we saw with the Transient Gundam. Maybe a little bit darker, but it's hard to tell because the pieces are just smaller so they could just appear darker because they're not as large. Some of the other like runner looks pretty similar so I guess it might be the same kind of clear blue. Alright, now we're getting into the assault pack with the K-Runner and once again this just says HG144 Gundam G Self. So yeah, there's no extra there's no extra marking on the label there for anything about the assault pack, so that's kind of interesting. Of course, obviously just two huge red parts on here. That's it. Not a lot of detail on there. It's looking very, very plain. So, I mean, that could go both ways. If you're just the kind of person who just likes to snap build, it might be a little bit disappointing, but if you're the kind of person that likes to do a lot of customizing, it's basically a huge blank slate for you, so that's kind of nice. Then we have Runner L. Just some more of the large red parts there. These are going to be for the legs, the new legs for the G-Self. These are for the missile packs, the new knees, and just some standard stuff on there. Then for the M runner, as I do have a little part that's loose there, we do have two M runners. These are going to be basically for the uh, rabbit ears on the top, the side guns, and the big cannons there. You can see that the cannons are just going to be two pieces sandwiched together. That means the long seam lines all the way down those cannons that you're going to have to wipe out if you so choose. Then the N runner is in that same dark red that we saw earlier for the body of the G-Self. We do have two of these as well. It looks like we've got the new parts for the feet on there and then a couple of parts for the assault pack as well. And the O-Runner, more dark red. Uh, looks like the big nose cone kind of parts for the assault pack. And then just a couple other dark red details there. And then probably the largest and heaviest runner is the P-Runner. It looks like it's going to be our large gray pieces that are going to be making up the body of the assault pack. Uh, some very big, very heavy pieces on there. So. Again, not a lot of detail though, so again, but these are mostly structural, so a lot of this stuff is going to be hidden, but this part, uh, at least a couple of these parts are going to be showing, it would be great to add some detail in there on those. Go from a huge runner back to a small runner here for Q. It's still the same color in gray, and we do have two of these as well, so these are just going to be some of the kind of extra parts just for the assault pack, a couple of joint parts there, and then basically a couple of other uh, gray detail parts. And then for Runner R, more gray here, but this is actually a slightly lighter shade of gray than the gray that we've seen so far, so that it's kind of interesting. Uh, just some detail parts, there's all the missiles you can see in there. Uh, it looks like the molding on those is really nice, so although they're not molded in the correct color, at least once those are painted they are going to look quite nice. And then here's just a couple of the uh, connection pieces, there's the action base connector, the connector to the backpack of the G-Self, and the arm that you're going to be using for this with the display base. Then we've got runner S1, just a few more yellow parts for the assault pack. Followed by S2, just a few more white parts for the assault pack. Uh, after the A runner, these are the only other white parts that we have for this kit, so not a whole lot of white, that's kind of nice. And finally, the base. This is base 2. Uh, so this is the 1-100 scale uh, kind of pack-in base that you're getting uh, with some other kits. Not articulated at all, and once again you're not going to be using this long arm, just these three parts there. These are the only parts in the whole kit that are molded in black, so that means the base is going to be black and the arm is going to be gray going to the G-Self. If that matters to you, it probably doesn't really matter a whole lot because you're not going to see much of that arm probably. But uh, if you actually wanted those to be in the same color, you would have to do a little bit of painting on that. Okay, so that is it for the G-Self Assault Pack. Uh, quite a lot of parts in there, but again, it is an HG, so don't expect anything too complex. It's mostly just a lot of parts because there's quite a lot of stuff to build inside of there. So, I I want to say I'm looking forward to building this kit as I, I am. I'm looking forward to building it, but at the same time, I do have some doubts just because of my history with this particular line. So wish me luck, and I'll see you guys very soon in the review. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.